In this video, we're going to discuss how the production possibilities frontier can be expanded. So let's say we had an economy that produces food and it produces natural gas. And if this economy focused strictly on producing food, it would produce 100 million tons of food. But if it strictly produ uh, produced natural gas, it would end up with 50 million tons of natural gas. And we know that all the points along this line are efficient in production, right? This is our PPF curve. This is, this is all the points that are efficient in production, and that means if you picked any point here, so let's say right here, at that point, you could not produce an additional unit of food without giving up some natural gas and vice versa. So we've talked about that, right? So this is basically the max, the maximum amount of the different combinations of food and natural gas that we could produce in our economy given our current level of resources. Now the question is, how does this ever get bigger? Can we expand this PPF going forward so that there's a point where we could, for example, produce more than 100 million tons of food or more than 50 million tons of natural gas? And the answer is yes. There are a couple of things that could happen that could allow us to shift this PPF outward, right? And then we could produce either more natural gas or food or more of each, right? So one way is that if we had some kind of technological breakthrough, we could end up producing one or more of one or both of these goods. So let's take natural gas. Let's say that there's a new technology comes out. You, you, I'm sure you've heard of fracking, right? So we come out with fracking. We got this new technology and we say, now we can, re we can access resource, uh, reserves of natural gas that previously we couldn't access. So we come out with fracking, we've got this new technology. And so now, instead of before it was, oh, the maximum amount of natural gas that we could, we could achieve would be 50 million tons. If our economy was completely devoted to natural gas production, we can get 50 million tons. But maybe now, now it comes out and let's say it goes to 75 million tons. Because of this new technology, now we've basically unlocked and been able to produce a lot more natural gas than we were before, right? So if we focus strictly on producing natural gas now due to the new technology, we can actually produce 75 million tons, whereas before the maximum, no matter what we did, was 50 million tons. Now, another thing that we could do is we could have a situation where there's capital accumulation. So if we accumulate capital, then we can have where we, we're going to be able to shift this PPF outward, right? And what does it mean by saying capital accumulation? Well, we're basically trading off current consumption for investment. So let, let's, say, let's say instead of food, let's say that this is bread, right? That's bread. And then here, instead of natural gas, let's say that we have ovens, right? And I know these numbers are going to be a little weird, but let's say that we had a situation where we said okay we have 100 million units of bread is the max we could produce or 50 million ovens okay so if we were to say in one period let's say this year we say you know what we're going to focus a lot on ovens right we're going to produce like so the bundle that we choose remember all these points along the ppf are efficient in production but we can choose any combination to be the actual one that we have so maybe we choose some point over here where we have a lot of ovens, but not as much bread, right? So we choose that point, because look, see, we'd have not that much bread, but we'd have basically be at close to the max number of ovens. So if we choose in year one, right? In year one, we choose a point like that, right? So in year one, we invest a lot in ovens, right? So we invest in ovens. In year two, what is going to happen is now we've accumulated some capital. So the ovens are capital, right? Now, you know, year two, because we have more ovens, we can actually produce more bread than we did before, right? So now our bread, let's say that this curve now ends up coming to something like this. And maybe now it's 110 million loaves of bread or whatever, right? So we've expanded. We now say, okay, we can actually, if we just focus strictly on bread in year two, we could actually produce 110 million instead of 100, which was before, because we've accumulated some capital, right? Now, what's the trade-off there? Well, we're trading off, when we do this in year one, we're saying, okay, we're gonna eat less bread. That's current consumption, right? So we're trading off consumption, uh, and we're basically investing then in capital instead, right? So consumption, and then we're trading off for capital. And then that capital, so in this case ovens, is gonna allow us to actually be able to consume more in the future. Now, 
there's actually an additional way that isn't really expanding the PPF, but it would actually allow you to consume at a point outside the PPF, right? So, so beyond, right? Because all these points here, we'd say that they're not feasible. They're not feasible given the current level of resources, right? We're not gonna be able to reach any of these points. Now, obviously, if we expand the PPF, then we can reach some of those points, right? And I just gave you two ways, capital accumulation and technology. But there's a third thing that would not expand the PPF, but it would actually allow us to consume at a point outside the PPF. And that's called specialization in trade, right? Specialization and trade. So if we specialize in producing goods where we have a comparative advantage, right? So if we, if we have a comparative advantage in producing bread or whatever, if we specialize in goods where we have a comparative advantage and then trade with other countries, right? Then we can actually get to a point, one of these points that says is not feasible, right? We could actually consume potentially at one of those points by specializing in a good in which we have comparative advantage and trading with other countries. And we'll talk about that more in the videos to come.